Hello everyone, I'm Forecaster Jack Sillen, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about one of the unique products that we have here at uh, Weather.us, which is the Forecast XL. So the Forecast XL gives you uh, information about the forecast for anywhere in the world. Uh, out to 10 days, you can compare different model data and uh, forecasts to see how much confidence there is in a given forecast. Um, as well as what that forecast uh, might be in the range of potential outcomes. That's really useful. Uh, so how do you get to Forecast XL? Well, you just mouse over the Forecast tab and then select XL. Uh, right here, super easy. Type in your location, uh, or you, know, you can see these are the locations I've last looked at, uh, and there's a you know, list of some of the more popular cities that you might be looking for. So uh, let's just go ahead and, and select New York. Um, and here you're going to see this graph. Uh, so this graph is uh, temperature versus time. So uh, the temperature forecast out through different points in time. And you can compare nine different models here uh, to see what their forecast temperatures are. So uh, let's just, for an example, take the uh, forecast for tomorrow's high temperature. Um, so tomorrow's high temperature is going to you know, be at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's pretty typical. Um, and you can see uh, over here, this little box pops up, right, when I mouse over um, a given point. And the box tells me what each model forecast is at that, at that given time. So uh, we have a range here from uh, 77.9 degrees up to 82.6 degrees. So uh, that's a pretty low spread. Uh, you're going to see temps, you know, in the upper 70s to low 80s. Um, only within a few degrees. So uh, you can have pretty high confidence because all the models are predicting temperatures within a couple degrees uh, of 80. Uh, so you can have pretty, pretty high confidence that the uh, high temperature tomorrow in New York City, um, you know, as I'm recording this uh, September 13th of 2017, temperature forecast tomorrow in New York City, 80 degrees. Pretty high confidence in that. Now, as you head farther out through time, you're going to notice the uh, spread increases here. So um, say we want to look at the high temperature um, for uh, two, next Tuesday, right? So that's six days from now. Uh, and you can see there's quite a spread. You have, you know, one model predicting 66 degree temperatures, uh, another model predicting 82 degree temperatures. So that's a very wide spread. You can either have temperatures in the mid 60s, that's pretty cool, uh, or the low 80s, that's, that's pretty warm. So uh, there's a kind of a range of potential outcomes here. And uh, there's lower confidence in the forecast because the models disagree. So uh, if you see this bigger spread, you know that there's uh, a lower degree of confidence. So, you know, don't plan on anything being too firm uh, if there's a high degree of spread in, in this graph. But if there's a low degree of spread, like we saw with the high temperature tomorrow in New York, uh, then you can have pretty high confidence that that forecast is going to pan out. So that's a look at how you do temperatures. Basically, it's the same thing for, uh, for all the other parameters. You can look at dew point, you can look at temperatures throughout the atmosphere, um, you can look at precipitation data. Uh, so here are the model precipitation forecasts for each day in New York. Uh, you can see in a couple days, uh, or tomorrow rather, on uh, the 14th. Um, most models are predicting um, between zero and a uh, quarter of an inch of rain. So that tells you that there's a chance of showers. Um, the models disagree a little bit. There might be no rain. There might be a little bit of rain, but it's not going to be a deluge. Um, and you also can't guarantee that there's not going to be any rain. Whereas if you head out, out over to, um, you know, on Friday, uh, only three models are predicting any rain at all. And the highest model there is 0.05 inches. So that's you know, a five minute shower. So you can have pretty, pretty high confidence that uh, the forecast on Friday is looking fairly dry. Uh, if you go over to Saturday, you're looking at a range from zero to 1.82. Um, so if you see an extreme outlier like this, where all the models agree on, you know, zero inches of rain, what, but one model is predicting, you know, two inches, that's a heavy rainfall. Um, usually it's safe to discount that outlier as, you know, something's weird and messed up in that model system. Uh, so don't, uh, don't take that too literally. If, you know, if you have eight out of nine models predicting zero inches of rain, you can have pretty high confidence that there's going to be zero inches of rain. Uh, and then as we head out, you know, uh, head out into time, there's obviously a little bit more spread. Um, by the time we get to, you know, a week from tomorrow, you have, a range of zero inches, 0.1 inches, a half an inch. So, you know, chance of showers, but we don't really know uh, at this point how strong they're going to be or how widespread they're going to be. So uh, that's how you can use the Forecast XL to do a little bit of precipitation forecasting uh, to see how likely precipitation is in your area. 
Uh, so that's a quick overview of the Forecast XL product, where to find it on our website, and how to use some of the output. Um, basically, all the other parameters that I haven't gone over, pressure, wind, uh, upper air temperatures, dew point, it's all the same. If the models are clustered closely together, then you have high confidence in the forecast. If the models are spread far apart, then you have lower confidence in the forecast. So uh, that's you know the, the secret um, for... Uh, the weather forecast that meteorologists look at. Um, so you can see that data uh, in all its glory here on the Forecast Excel product. So uh, we hope you find it useful, uh, and I'll be back next time to show you uh, more about a different feature of our website. So uh, stay tuned, and thank you for watching.